Before iPods, before MP3s, before CDs, there was a little thing called cassette tapes. The little reel-to-reel -reel changed the world before giving way to digital music. In this week's Storytellers, Nine News reporter Chris Vanderveen and photojournalist Ann Herbst show us what may be the cassette's comeback. Many an old man has muttered the saying, kids these days. As in, what's up with the music of kids these days? Yet the next old man to saunter into a set by the band Princess Dewclaw just might be surprised to learn. It's like a throwback. Learn just how much he and the kids have in common. We have tapes. Yep. It's called Teenage Werewolf. Cassette tapes. Yeah, you don't want to just have a download. You want to actually have the physical thing. Proof, perhaps, that not even the obsolete is absolute. Because you get to physically have it. I think it's a big thing. Who's to blame? Or maybe credit? <laughs> this place. Yep, this is the headquarters for now. <laughs> it's like very chill vibes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, if necessity is the mother of invention. Uh, yeah, cassettes are sick. Then college has forced more than a few poor students to play a matriarchal role. We can afford to make cassettes. We can afford to make music in our bedrooms. First base tapes employs no MBAs. I'm studying computer science. Strategic communication and media studies. But this is all business. I'm being serious. All business. Serious about business. It was kind of a joke motto that we came up with one time at a meeting. An inventor invented the cassette tape in 1962, but it took until the 80s for it to find its way into the basements of people like Colton O'Connor's I am 22. Parents. I am dubbing cassettes for our latest release. And while his parents <laughs> dubbed one mixtape at a time, Hold on. his telex can do quite a few more. 16 times, yeah, I guess that's faster. This just makes sense, mostly because of dollars. For being broke and sense. Like buying tapes is awesome because I would love to buy vinyl all the time, but I can't. At $3 a tape before markup, First Base gives new bands an old fashioned way to connect with their audiences. There's something special about still being able to make a physical thing, even if you're a band not making enough money. Of course, in order to play cassette tapes, one needs cassette decks. Yeah. Do kids these days even have those? People our age drive old cars. Think about it. <laughs> For a generation far too used to downloads, sometimes there's an upshot to something physical. Yeah, I mean, I think like our generation definitely craves that. And they say the sound's not bad. It gets a bad rap, I guess. But when your key demographic really is. This is my first tape. Kids these days. 18 to like 23 year olds. Even an old man can appreciate the adage that everything he considers old. Personal, cheap. Just might be new again. And just cool. For some. Chris Vanderveen, 9 News.